Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you can hear me okay. I'm using the mic on the camera and not an additional mic. So hopefully you can hear me okay. So today I will be making curtains for these windows here. Okay, so what I have here are one of the rugs. These are the women rugs that Dollar Tree is carrying. And I will show you how many of each I use for each curtain. And this is a curtain rod. This is just like a regular um, size window. So it didn't need the extra rod in the middle to extend it at all. So these are just the two curtain rods that came with the pack. And so, because I didn't use it there, I am using it for the curtain rod for the two windows. So here we have our rug and also make sure that you have a tape measure handy. I'm set that aside for now. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the tag from the rugs and I will be using three rugs for each window panel and I'm making two window panels so you will need a total of six of these rugs. So this is the back of the rug. You can see where the edge is folded over. That's how you know it's the back. And the front of the rug is just smooth all the way across. And you just wanna be mindful of which side is which while you're doing this project. So I'm just gonna smooth down the top and I am folding down the top of the rug. And this is going to be the first panel. It's going to be the top of the curtain where the curtain rod goes through and I just want to be mindful that I am folding down enough material so that the edge can be secured closed and there's still room for the curtain rod to go through. So I realized I needed more space. So I went ahead and folded over more of the material and I'm going to measure how long that is and it ended up being two and one eighths. And I'm just gonna grab a pencil and jot that down so that when I make the second curtain panel, it can be the same width. I also went ahead and measured the width and the length of the window that I'm making this curtain for. And it ended up being a little over, I can't remember exactly, but it was just over 56 inches long. And uh, I forget the width too, but the you'll see at the end that the two curtain panels are enough to cover the window completely. And so now I'm using hot glue just to glue down where the knots are on the rug and secure that shut. But I am going to leave the edges open and that is because I am going to sew those shut as you can see, it's open there on both sides. So I just went ahead and threaded a needle with a regular black cotton thread. And I did use a longer sewing needle. If you have a sewing machine, of course, you could use a sewing machine for this. I do not have a sewing machine. So I just used a combination of hot glue and needle and thread. You don't need years of sewing experience to do this. You can just sew that shut just as easily as you see me doing there. So you can see how secure it is being sewn shut. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the other side. I'm just showing you how secure it is with the glue and the glue holds it very, very securely. Okay, so this is what we have for our first panel. The curtain rod pocket is set and ready to go, and we are ready to add our second panel. So here is our second panel, 
or second rug, I should say, for the first curtain panel. And I kind of was just trying different ways to see how I may want to attach the rugs to each other. And I tried that way, but it made that big lump right there. And I wanted it to be to look like just one smooth piece of fabric instead of three different pieces of fabric put together. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and use hot glue throughout the middle and then sew the end shut just like I did for the first panel. But I am going to put the tassels of the first rug over the tassels of the rug that we are adding. Don't worry about the tassels in the back. We'll take care of those later on. And I'm just adding hot glue right along the top of the second rug and gluing down the first rug on top of it, being sure not to catch the tassels in the glue. I am going to unravel the end tassels on both sides and then cut it off because it wasn't making kind of a smooth transition for me. We'll take care of the rest of the tassels in the back in a moment. But here you see me sewing the ends together just like I did at the top. And again, I do that on both sides. And if you don't want to sew it all, you can hot glue it. Or if you only want to sew, you can sew it all, whatever your preference is. And as you can see, it is very secure. Okay, so that's our top panel. And now we have attached the second panel. And now we're ready to add our final panel to the bottom of the second and I'm just going to repeat the same steps that I used for adding the second panel. And again, I'm sewing the ends just like I did before. And this is our first panel complete. You can see all three of the rugs sewn together. Now it is way longer than I need it to be for my window. So I went ahead and measured it and now this is it at 59 inches long, which is three inches longer than the window, which is perfect. If you want it to fit perfectly inside of the window, you can do that as well, but I wanted it to be longer than the window. So I went ahead and took it back to my crafting room and I'm just gluing down the fold. And I did measure it again after I took it to the sewing room, the crafting room, I should say. And I'm gluing the ends of it shut as well. Now for the tassels in the back, these tassels are made up of the actual fabric or material that the rug is woven from. So you have to be very careful. So what I did with this is that I left the knots because the white tassels have very small knots and I cut off the tassel part and then I just put a dot of hot glue on top of each of the knots to keep it from unraveling. And this is going to help the curtain panel lay very flat. Now for our second panel, you will see that now we have some dark gray tassels. Unfortunately, my Dollar Tree did not have enough of the rugs with the white tassels. And the white tassels are very uh, small and tiny. And you can see the knots on the black tassels are much larger 
don't worry, we're going to take care of it. So basically, guys, I'm going to do the same thing for this curtain panel that I did for the second. I'm measuring there to make sure that the fold is two and one eighth inches, just like it was for the first one. And that's for the that forms the pocket for the curtain rod. Because we will have two rugs that have black tassels for this second curtain panel and we don't have any for the first one, I had to figure out how I was going to address that because obviously if you have curtains, you want them to look like they were made together, like they're a pair. So after I add the second panel, I will show you how I address that. Now, as I said before, the black knots on the carpet are much bigger than the white knots. And you can see how lumpy they are behind the curtain panel. So I end up having to actually unravel all of these knots all the way across so that I can have the curtain panel lay flat. Okay, so here they are all unraveled. And then I'm going to hot glue the panels together. And as you can see, there's no lumpiness now. And again, I'm going to sew the ends together on both sides. So now we have our second panel added and it has the white tassels showing on the front. Now we're ready to add our third panel. Now we are faced with having only black tassels to deal with. So the first thing I'm going to do is to unravel all of these tassels again. And now that that's done, I'm going to hot glue the panels together, the second and the third panels together. And so the ends closed once more. So now we have our third panel attached and I do want to go ahead and fold the bottom panel up, making sure that the complete length is 59 inches, just like the first one. And I turn it over to the back side. I unravel all of the knots and now I'm going to cut off right at the edge all of the tassels don't throw these tassels away if your dollar tree has all of the white tassels if you're making yours from all white or all black if you're able to get six of the same color you don't have to worry about this part but for me i held on to the black tassels that i'm cutting off and I'm adding hot glue so that it does not unravel. So once that is done, this is the row of tassels that make up the top of the third panel, the bottom of the second panel. And I'm unraveling the white tassels. I retied the black tassels into knots and I'm adding them back. So for the ends of the curtain rods, I'm going to use the tops of these two glass jars that I picked up from Dollar Tree. I am going to remove the rubber stopper and that's what it looks like. I will be giving them a paint job in these two paints that is white chalk paint and rain gray acrylic paint that I picked up from Target. So I painted first with the white paint I let that dry completely and then I painted it with the gray paint. I let that dry completely and I'm sorry I didn't get a shot of it but I spray painted them in a metallic silver paint from Krylon and then I spritzed it with some white vinegar 
and there I am just dabbing it away. I didn't want it to look like mercury glass, more like a distressed glass. And it wasn't looking distressed enough, so I went ahead and I sprayed it with this forged hammer in uh, antique pewter from Rust-Oleum. And I spritzed that with vinegar as well. And the end product is right here. Drop a comment below and let me know how you think that turned out. I just wanted it to have more of a vintage look. I sprayed the curtain rod and forged hammer as well. I just didn't want the end of the curtain rod to be shiny, like new metal, so I wanted to distress it a little bit. And as you can see, the curtain rod fits inside of there perfectly. So I will be using a combination of E6000. You can use whatever strong industrial glue you want to use and hot glue to add the curtain rod into the little end piece there. And I'm adding more hot glue for more security. And I'm going to set that aside and let it set up. So this is the window before we added the curtain. And now here it is with our curtain all finished. I really, really love how this turned out. It is kind of unexpected to use the woven rugs in this way. But this was a $6 curtain project. To have the ends of the curtain rod was an extra $2. But for under $10 to get curtains that you've customized yourself, I think it's a great deal. So I just wanted to show you here that you can have them opened. And they will stay that way and they're very easy to slide open and to slide closed. I don't plan on having these curtains propped open often, but if you wanted to, you could add some tie backs to your wall, or if you, if you have some already, you can just use those. Thank you guys so much for joining me for today's project. If you like today's project, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. I'd love to have you subscribe for more content. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. Bye, everybody.